Hey, my name is Javel Redwood. I'm from Old Auburn, Jamaica, but I currently live in Cincinnati. I attend Taylor University in Upland, Indiana. I play on the Taylor men's basketball team. I'll be a senior this year. Um, so I got the opportunity to play basketball in the States around three years ago. My journey all started at the old Albert Church of Christ basketball camp that's been going over for like five years now, maybe, or six, roughly around that. Um, I started playing basketball at the age of 16 plus, around that. Um, soccer was actually my first sport, so I didn't actually play basketball until like later down in the year, or I was older later when I get older. Um, so started playing at 16 plus I was like hey I don't know if I like the sport but I kept with it um, I played like a solid two years then I quit like at 17 maybe or so like I was just like hey this isn't working out like I didn't feel like I wanted to play it anymore because I wasn't playing I was just there on the team and stuff like that so I quit for like a year or just a couple months then um, I started attending the Old Albert Christ Church of Christ basketball camp. They were like, because I was like, hey, there's guys from overseas coming down to like help work on your skill work and stuff like that. And I was like, yes, this might be a good opportunity for me to do it. So I did it. Um, um, got that, went there for like three years back to back alongside with players like Joel Bailey. Nikolai Bailey, Juna Graham, Willesley Butler, um, there's Morris Brown. Um, there's a lot more players that attended that camp. Uh, so I went there three years in a row. Um, so then we had a family from Center Point Church came down to the camp. They're like, hey, they saw me and Nikolai Bailey like, hey, we think these two dudes have the potential to play overseas at the next level. And they're like, hey, this is a one opportunity we can give you guys to make the use of it. I sat down with my parents. I'm like, hey, I feel like this is a good option for me to go overseas, play, especially regarding the school. My mom was all aboard. So I did that, got a scholarship to go to St. Clair University, St. Clair Junior College, actually, alongside with Nikolai Bailey, which is now graduated from Bethel University. With a, with a business degree. Um, so got to St. Clair, played my first year. It was My first year was like adjustment year. It was kind of rough because <clears throat> I wasn't used to like American sports. <clears throat> I wasn't used to like how fast it was and it was just a year of adjustment. Um, sophomore year, got hurt with a stomach virus. So I had to like sat out that year um then basically playing so i basically just sat out my sophomore year those watch games i couldn't practice i couldn't do anything at all i was just there chilling on the sideline <laughs> um now my sophomore year i was thinking about either should i i took a red shirt my sophomore year i was like hey do i should i come back to junior college or should i just try my luck and see if i could go four years I got the offers for a few colleges in the area, then uh, got a few a few like opportunities to try for different schools, like in Indiana, in Mishawaki, in local Ohio area. And then um, Taylor was just like one of the best option because they only saw me play one year. And the guy was like, hey, we need a, we need a center for a, year, for a team. And it felt like I could fill that fill that role for his team, and I was like, "Yeah, this will, this is probably the right place for me." Cause all the other schools were just like, mm, I just didn't feel like I was wanted there, or they needed me there. But I felt like Taylor was the place, so I took my red shirt, got to Taylor my sophomore year, got hurt again, <laughs> got hurt again. I had my appendicitis taken out my sophomore year when I got to Taylor. So I had to sit out another year. Then I got sick again my junior year. Well, I, was, I didn't got sick, but I was still recovering from my sophomore year still. 
Um, and then I basically just sat out. I didn't really play much at all because my body just wasn't up to like playing standards. Now I'm a senior this year, all ready to go all healthy, thank be to God. Um, so throughout my journey, like from transitioning from Jamaica all the way to the United States and just like just being adjusted to like the culture and just like how people do things, the sports and etc. One of the biggest things that came to my attention was just um, how faith can play a really big role in our lives. And one of the Bible verse that I try to stick to is having faith small as a mustard seed. That was where I learned that verse when I was probably the second year or third year at Old Ivory Church of Christ basketball camp. Even up to this day, I still have my wristband <laughs> that says um, having faith um, small as a mustard seed. Um, I gave my life to Christ my like third year in the camp by Kelly Poston. He was like, hey man, I was like telling him that I don't feel like I'm ready. And he was like, yeah, I was, he was telling me all this different stuff, how God worked miracles in his life. And I was like, yeah. I was like, I just didn't think I was ready. Um, so he finally got to it and was like, hey, this is like, there's no need to wait. Like, give your life to the Lord and just like see how he can work miracles throughout your life and stuff like that. And I was like, that's awesome. Um, another thing was that when I had my surgery and I was reflecting back on what he said and just like what other people told me over my just being in the state was just like, hey, having people around you care, having strong faith, just praying and just like having people pray for you is a really good thing. Um, so one thing that I learned that I could straighten is just like having faith because that's without that, I feel like you're not, there's not much you can do because if you don't have any faith in God, like, you're just out there in the wilderness. And I just felt like while I was going through my surgery and just having hurt and just having getting sick and then just going back and forth, back and forth, and um, having my family there and just having faith, I felt like that was really good in my life. Um, and just how you can just grow in your faith by just the little things, you know? Just by like, hey, just showing, just like taking five minutes out of your day to read the Bible or just read a verse or whatever it is. Or just just doing the most kind of thing for someone that can change their day or whatever it is. Um, so the way how I felt like God worked throughout my life was like, hey, you brought these people down to Jamaica. Um, they saw potential in me and they brought me up. I, they didn't know who I am. I didn't know who they are. Um... I met Zach Arrington, I met um, a couple of Center Point um, people. So I just felt like with Christ, it helps to open opportunities to like meet other people, but not just only other people, but help you to pave a way for others behind you. Like you can use like, hey, I could always go back to um, Jamaica or basketball came and be like, hey, remember when I was this and like how I had to work through that and like who was there with me, like what I had to do, like how, how was it, like the different thing that I had to do and say and like how I had to go through all that process. Um, so the biggest thing I want to leave with you guys today is have faith in whatever you do. It doesn't matter what it is, just like having faith, having a faith small as a mustard seed can take you a long way because right now I'm still in college, my senior year, finishing up my degree in sports management and business admin. And there's been ups and downs in my life also with, with surgeries and injuries and stuff like that. And without faith and just having God around me, I felt like I wouldn't be able to accomplish all of that by myself. So having faith and just being strong with it is a very key thing. So there's one thing I could leave with you guys today, just have faith in whatever you do and just put effort into it. And yeah, so that's about it. Thank you.